Day 1. I found a village, got wood, made a pick, made a better pick, killed a slime, made an axe, said hi to the local golem, moved to another village, and my goal here is to find lava, so I might be able to make a portal? Then I killed a golem, stole the lava, looted a chest, cooked some potatoes, ate the potatoes, looked at the sunset, and slept. Day 2, I ended another golem, stole some books, did a little more looting, made some gear, and slept. Day 3, I found some diamonds, and then I started building the portal, but I forgot water. So after getting water, I built the portal, and I know it's not the nicest looking portal, but it'll do the job. After that, I made a cobble generator, murdered some slimes, did Mr. Beast a favor, then almost died. Then I made a chest plate, stashed some items, chopped a tree, made more potatoes, and slept. Day 5, I entered the nether, got some netherrack, got some gold, and started farming the cobble gen. Day 6, I started this slime defense system, but promptly ran out of cobblestone. So after finishing that, I set off for some more loot, did a little golem hunting, and slept. Day 7, I saw some pillagers, but decided not to engage. I'm not exactly the best fit right now. Then I looted another blacksmith, headed back, made a villager vacation home, and escorted a villager to my base. Day 8, I gave my villager a job and did a little trading. Then I tried to bring over another villager, but the local zombie had different ideas. Then I almost died, chopped some trees, I hired another villager, and did more capitalism. Day 9, I finally made a shield and bought a bow. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty uneventful day. Day 10, I made an enchantment table, then realized I had no lapis. So, I went back in the nether, killed a piglin, grabbed some bones, got ambushed by lava, broke a pick, and left the nether. Day 11, I chopped some logs, made some cobble storage, then mined some more cobble. And then day 12. Day 12. I got some carrots, gathered some dirt, I think I found a stronghold. Then I looted some more chests, and I died. But it was kind of a dumb way of dying, so well, let's just forget that this was going to be a hardcore world. After regaining my stuff, I looted some more chests and went back. Day 14, I found more diamonds, I torched things up, I made a diamond pick, and yes, I'm super unorganized, don't judge, and then I made some fancy boots. Day 15, I made a diamond sword, went to the nether for gold, showed a gas to his boss, made an infinite water source, and upgraded the cobble gem to tier 3. Then I built a villager breeder, put some villagers in it, and a creeper almost killed all my villagers, which was great. Then I finished escorting the villagers to my humble abode. Day 19, I started trying to fill in the slime chunks, but it backfired a bit. Day 20, I found a nether fortress, and I took out some blazes and got some nether wart. Day 21, I died again. But I only lost my pick, so it wasn't that bad. Day 22, I bone milled up some bread, went back to the fortress, and then mined some more cobble. Day 23, apparently I was just looking around in the nether. Day 24 though, my villagers made some kids, and I brought some sheep over, and made a sheep hole. Day 25, I painted the sheep red, bred the sheep, and got comboed by a slime. Day 26, I made my villager a toolsmith, then I did some chopping, and trading, and chopping, and trading, and chopping, and trading. You get the idea. Day 27, I did some golem slaying, and the villager upped his price. I don't see why he would have been mad at me. Um, then I decided to send another villager over because it was getting a bit claustrophobic in there. Day 28, I bone wheeled some wheat, fed some sheep. Did that run? I'm not even sure. I made a blast furnace, turned another villager into an armorer, and purchased the most useful item in the game. Day 29, I almost got destroyed by a creeper. I slayed some more golems, hired another villager, and day 30, I got a diamond axe. Then I realized my villager breeder was kind of filling up. Day 31, it says, just watch the clip. I'm not even sure what happened day 31, but I'm going to assume based off the frowny face that it wasn't anything good. Day 32, I got another diamond pick and did a little trading with the wandering trader. Days 33 through 36 were me taking down the slime defense system because let's be honest, it doesn't exactly look the best. Um, but just to show how many slimes I fought, look at how many slime blocks I crafted. This is not okay. And I died again.
Day 37, I made a better slime prevention system. Days 38 through 41, I built an iron farm. I got the villagers in place, but when I tried to put the zombie in, the iron golem had other ideas. Then, the same thing happened again, even though I had blocks in place. Day 43, I discovered that one of my villagers was actually Dr. Strain's long-lost cousin. Then, I got some lapis, enchanted things, and accidentally slapped the third zombie. Day 44, after finally getting the zombie in place, I finished the iron farm, but golems were spawning everywhere. Day 45, some carrots fell from the heavens. I extended the golem funhouse, bought some pants and boots, and realized zombie v4 died. Day 46, I got zombie v5 in place, and I saw another useless wandering trader. Day 47, I built a mushroom room, and bone milled some up. Day 48, I bought a helmet and chest plate. I wanted to make sugar for fermented spider eyes for a weakness potion, but there's no sugar cane. I did learn though that you can make sugar using honey. Day 49, this happened. Yes, I lost everything, but I could just buy it all back. Day 50, I collected some bones, commandeered a strider, then noticed I couldn't actually move. Day 51, I grew a bee, don't ask, but I give him free heating, so. Day 52, I found more diamonds. Day 53, I found an abandoned village. Those things are pretty rare, right? We're gonna go with that. Day 54, I finally found a cartographer house and borrowed their table. Then I encountered a pillager patrol and decided to get some bad omen. Day 55, I did the raid and definitely didn't run away when a ravenger spawned. Day 56, I hired a cartographer, hired a librarian, and made a diamond sword. Then I locked in sharpness 5. Then I applied sharp 5 to my sword, hired another librarian, did some more trading, and I have way too many villagers. Day 60, I took down my giant forest. Day 61, I got Unbreaking 3 and added both Unbreaking 3 and Looting 3 to my sword. Day 62, I bred some bees, crafted some beds, and started blowing things up, and then I mined some ancient debris. Next, I upgraded my sword and pick, and added some path. Days 65 and 66, I got some glass, made some bottles, got some honey, got some sugar, got some fermented spider eyes, and got some weakness potion. Then I made them into splash, and got assaulted by a slime, then gathered some gold. Wow, that was a lot of gods. Day 67, I sheared my sheep, did some more blast mining, mined some ancient debris, and almost died. Day 68, I improved my axe, purchased some pearls, got some rods, and got some more. Day, um, yeah. I crafted some eyes of ender. Next, I got some efficiency 5 and made some strength 2. And finally, day 75, I set off for the stronghold. Day 76, it's time. After finding it, I filled in the eyes, I had a miniature heart attack from a rendering bug, then I died to an enderman even though I did not look at it, and then I did an enderman massacre to show them who's boss, I took out the crystals and easily took out the dragon, then I swiped the egg and went to the end islands. Day 77, I found a city, killed the shulkers, got some loot, nabbed the wings, and headed back. Then I enchanted the wings and died to a creeper. Day 78, I killed the most epic looking skeleton and zombie, got my stuff back, and somehow my sheep had managed to escape, so I lured them back in. Days 81 through 84, I built a mob farm and then did some farming. Now it's time to start my biggest project yet in this 15 second gathering montage. And after gathering all the materials, I started work on the base.
that was it. So, if you enjoyed, make sure to like the video. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And, comment down below what other challenges you want me to do. I'm open to suggestions. With that, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time. Are we done? Okay. I think I got through without letting them see my final day count.